Hello everyone, in this movie we will show you the real process of a memory dump using our latest product called VR Table, JTAG EMMC FBUS tool. For this movie we will use an ST26i board and riff box working in JTAG mode. First, let me tell you more about the VR Table configuration. The reading device, which in this case is a RIF JTAG box, was placed on the VR holder stand, which holds the device safely in place. So it can't move while we perform the reading or writing process. Using a VR holder also ensures there is a short distance between device and motherboard, which is very important while reading and writing data over EMMC or JTAG. Connection of the VR table to your PC is very simple. On the back of the VR table we have a USB-A socket to which we connect the JTAG or EMMC device. Here the VR table acts as an extension cable or hub, so we're avoiding cables on the desk. To the front USB socket B, we connect a cable to the PC. We use a standard USB A to B printer cable for this which you can find in the set. Now let me tell you how we mount the PCB motherboard in the VR table. In the VR, we have a special mounting system which holds the PCB safe and in place, which prevents movement of the PCB during the connection process. This means it's possible to move the table once the VR arms are configured. In this video, we are using a Riftbox adapter for the VR table, which comes in the set. The adapter has an IDC connector on one side and banana connectors on the other, which you connect to probes. It's worth mentioning that every user can create their own adapters. On the probes, we are using standard banana plugs, but you can use any adapter you like. For connection of this board, we'll use the schematics from the Riftbox. Connection schematics are available in the Riftbox software, as shown on the laptop screen. We connect each cable, signal, into the point on the motherboard as described in the schematic. Once connected, we secure the VR arm in the correct position to prevent movement. This is the most important process of connection, so take care. After a few tries, it will not take more than 5 minutes to connect 8 or 9 signals for the JTAG. If you complete this process correctly, you will read memory without any problems. After making hundreds of connections with the VR table, we found some useful steps that should help. First, locate the adapter signal you want to connect on the schematic or diagram. Second, connect the cable into the probe. Third, place probe on the pad or element to which you want to connect. Fourth, secure the hydraulic VR arm in position to prevent movement. By using this procedure, you can connect to any device, PCB or even the chip itself. It is worth mentioning that the VR table allows you to work on a PCB without damage to the device itself. No more soldering to pads on the PCB, in the case of JTAG, or to elements, in the case of EMMC. It's a non-destructive solution which causes no damage if properly done. In a time when all devices are SMD-SMT, our VR table allows fast and safe access to PCB. In many cases, customers cancel or refuse data extraction when they hear that soldering is required. With VR table, there's no need to solder at all with JTAG or EMMC. The next stage is to start the connection process. 
We connect the VR adapter into the Rift box and need to connect the power supply to the phone PCB. This process can look different on some boards. Some need only external power supply. Some also require a USB connection. In most cases, a DC power supply of 3.6 volts is OK for this process. After we finish all configuration, we're ready to connect to memory. First we connect to target PCB to check connection and get ID. We see here that connection was established successfully. And now we can start the memory dump. We see here the log and first try to read the dump. In this case, it shows an error due to improper, too low voltage on the DC power supply. To get it to work, we need to increase the voltage from 3.5 to 3.6. After changing the voltage to 3.6 volts DC, the process should start correctly. As you can see, we are starting to create the dump right now. The whole process depends on partition or memory size and can take from a few minutes to a few hours. Then you can analyze recovery data deleted or lost using free AutoSci or any other commercial software. As you can see, the whole process was performed in less than five to six minutes without any damage to the PCB no soldering and no need to use external jigs or special knowledge. If you have an eMMC connection, it will take less time because you'll only need three signals, CMD, CLK, DAT0, instead of eight or nine for JTAG. Thank you for watching. More videos soon.